Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try to understand what is electric charge. So electric charge is a property of matter that causes it to experience a force when near other electrically charged objects. So that is what we exactly saw just now. So when an object is if, so electric charge is something which we cannot see, it is not an object. It is a property which is exhibited by matter. Matter means matter is like anything that occupies space. So solid, liquid, gas, everything falls under matter. So any object will have a property within it. And due to this property, it will have a tendency to experience a force. It will have a tendency to experience an attraction or a repulsion whenever it is near some other electrically charged object. So let us look at this some of the examples again. So take this example. It, it is a very simple example and you can try it out on your own. So the, again we'll take the same example. Let us suppose you take a balloon, you rub it on your hair. What happens then? Now before you rub the balloon, the balloon never attracted the wall or it never stuck to the wall. Now that you have rubbed the balloon on your hair and you bring it near a wall, what happens? The balloon sticks to the wall for quite some time. So what is happening here? Here if you see this balloon, once it is rubbed to your hair, the balloon gets electrically charged. And once the balloon is electrically charged, when it is brought near some other object, so they tend to attract each other. So now this balloon, once it is rubbed to your hair, so now this balloon is electrically charged. So if I bring this balloon back to your hair, do you think that there will be some force which will be experienced between the hair and the balloon? Yes, of course, because now the balloon is electrically charged, your hair is also charged. So therefore, there will be some sort of attraction between your hair and the balloon. So any object will have a property because of which it will experience a force because it is due to the force that this attraction happens. Attraction means two objects tending to come near each other. So there is a force which is existing which tries to bring the two objects closer. So that is what is attraction. Similarly, if there exists a force which tends to take the objects away from each other, that is repulsion. So every object will have a property due to which it will experience a force when it is near an electrically charged object. So in this case, the balloon is an electrically charged object. So when the balloon is near the wall, so the wall will experience a force due to the presence of the electrically charged balloon. And that is why attraction happens. And that is why the balloon sticks to the wall. Okay. So now the question is, what do we mean by this electric charge? What from where is this charge coming into an object? So even if I rub a balloon on my hair, how do we know that the balloon is getting electrically charged just after rubbing it to my hair? So what special is happening during the process of rubbing? Well, in order to understand that, we actually need to understand the concept of charged body. When do we say that a body is charged? Now, when we talk about electric charge, experimentally it was found that two kinds of charges exist. So the names that were given to the two types of charges were positive and negative. So one is a positive charge and an object with a positive charge is said to be a positively charged body. Similarly, an object with a negative charge is said to be a negatively charged body. Now the names positive and negative were given conventionally. Now the question is, what do we mean by positive charge? Okay, just look at this. What is this? This is nothing but an atom. So I hope all of you know that all matter, all the objects that we see around us, matter is made up of molecules. And the molecules are made up of smaller particles called atoms. And if you look at the structure of each atom, each atom is again made up of three types of particles. That is proton, neutron and electron. So what are electrons? These are electrons, protons and neutrons. So here you have protons and neutrons. Now what are these? What are protons? What are neutrons? Let me tell you. Now inside every atom, 
The center of the atom consists of protons and neutrons. So let us say this is how an atom looks like. I'm just assuming it to be a sphere. So the center of the atom will be made up of protons and neutrons. So protons and neutrons will occupy the center part of the atom. What about the electrons? Electrons are mobile, that is they can move. So where are they moving? So they are moving in orbitals around the surrounding the nucleus. So this central portion where protons and neutrons are present that is called nucleus. This portion is called nucleus. I'm sure you would have studied all these things in your chemistry. Okay, so this part is your nucleus which contains the protons and the neutrons and surrounding this you have electrons which are revolving in orbit. So they are rotating in these kind of orbits. So the electrons are actually moving in circular paths around the nucleus. Correct? So these electrons are negatively charged particles and the protons are positively charged particles and the neutrons they are neutral they are neither positively charged nor negatively charged so just now i was telling you that two types of charges exist that is positive and negative so these protons were positive charges and the electrons were negative charges now it is very important to understand this because on the basis of this only we will be able to understand the entire concept of electric charge now when do we say that a body is positively charged or an object is positively charged okay under any normal situation like when a body is neutral in that case the net charge of the body is zero that means the body is neutral when will the net net charge be zero when the body when that particular uh, object has equal number of protons and neutrons so if an object has say 10 protons and five electrons then what will happen the body overall will have a positive charge because it has more positively charged particles similarly if an object has 10 electrons and five protons so that means overall the body will be negatively charged so if an object has to be neutral it should have equal number of protons and electrons right because neutrons are anyways neutral they do not carry any charge now, what do we mean by a positively charged body? So, if we say that a body is positively charged, that means the net charge on the body is positive. That means this body has more positively charged particles than negatively charged particles. So, that means this body has more protons than electrons because protons are positively charged. So, this has more protons than electrons only then it can be positively charged correct okay so when is this possible this is possible only when an atom loses so here the blues are the protons and the gray ones are the electrons so right now i am showing this sphere is the entire atom okay so when an atom which is currently this atom is neutral that is it has equal number of electrons and protons so if you see one two, three, four. So you have four gray balls. That is, you have four electrons and you have four protons. Now, if this object or if this atom loses one electron, so if one electron goes out of it, then what happens? It has more number of protons. That means it has more positively charged particles. So this becomes positively charged. So whenever an atom loses electrons, it becomes positively charged. So losing electrons make an object positively charged in a very similar way we can explain what do we mean by negatively charged negatively charged means overall there should be more number of electrons so in this case you if you look at it here this object right now is positively charged because it has less number of electrons and it has more number of protons right but if this atom takes in electrons what will happen so if you look at it now it has taken an electron so it has one two three four five electrons and only four protons so here gaining electrons will make an object 
negatively charged because electron is something which is negatively charged particle so if yeah, an object is taking in more electrons that means it is taking in more negative charges so that particular object will become negatively charged quite simple logic right we i am taking i am bringing I am asking more and more electrons to come inside my house. So my house will be, will carry a net negative charge because more negatively charged particles are staying inside my house. Similarly inside atom also if the atom is gaining more and more electrons it will become negatively charged. If it is losing more and more electrons then it will become positively charged. Now why we talk in terms of losing or gaining electrons because electrons are mobile. So electrons can move from one place to another but protons are not mobile. So it is something like uh, the old people inside your house maybe they are not uh, healthy enough to mobile. They are not healthy enough to move from one house to another. But the kids they are very active they just run and move from one house to another. So electrons are like the kids and the uh, protons are like the old people so protons will remain inside and they cannot move from one atom to another but electrons can therefore whichever object will gain electron will become negatively charged and whichever object will lose electrons will tend to become positively charged so now thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.